conditions at Moorabbin for the clash between last start winner St Kilda and at Geelong. John Mossop out of the Geelong side, so it's Flanagan in ruck against side bottom. Keel fist, uh, fist the ball further afield. Coming through strongly was Shane Williams. Clearing kick wide. A beautiful mark taken by Ablett. That's Gary Ablett. Cunningham is marking him. Ablett goes back. High kick to half forward. It's all St Kilda at the moment. And side bottom takes a nice mark at half back. Very relaxed uh, side bottom. Backwards. Oh, just down towards the wing. Ablett again. <laughs> Now, he started on the opposite flank, would you believe? Cunningham was uh, got onto that position the last moment, so Ablett's second kick in about half uh, a minute. Lovely kick side, bottom marks it once more. Kick for kick for these two. Plays off, gets a lead for Fashidi, going to the outer side. Fashidi got away well. Now to, uh, this is Jeff Ablett playing uh, St Kilda. Gary for Geelong, of course, and away he goes. Oh, the kicking sensational. Up to full forward. Helping oh, First time it hits the St Kilda forward line, Robert Elphinstone's taken a freak mark about 20 metres out and will put the first score on the board. Boy, Gary Ablett and Alan Sidebottom uh, featuring very early uh, in this uh, opening quarter. And it's a major St Kilda first score, Elphinstone kicked the goal. Elphingston, the uh, captain, of course, of St Kilda. It's very interesting to note, Jeff, that he did uh, warm up in tracksuit pants and uh, is playing on the forward line. Of course, he's played most of his football on the half-back line. So I wonder, A, whether he's injured, and B, uh, whether, well, they put him at full forward. He's running around a bit at full forward at the moment, trying to uh, warm that leg up, I think. It'll be interesting to see how he goes for the rest of the day. St Kilda captain uh, Elphingston's first goal and uh, St Kilda uh, leading by six points and there's a free kick and it's going to uh, Keel. Keel's kick uh, up towards Mace, punched away by Zickler. Williams, a hand pass back to Zickler. Zickler's kick into the centre of the ground over Lennigan. Side bottom who's playing well. Oh, couldn't get the hand pass away. Cunningham gets one around the neck and Cunningham will get the free kick. No uh, comeback, says the umpire. He's got to go back over his mark. Phil Narkel uh, back in the Saints side this week. Number eight, uh, clever player when he's on his game. And here's uh, Cunningham. Oh, great kick. Perfect day for footy. That's Big Flanagan knocking it down. That's Williams with Geelong in front, playing it with a hand across his shoulder, and he picks up his first kick. Williams gets the lead from Neil. Neil can't pull it in. It was a valiant attempt. This will allow Narkel in, who falls over. Tackled by Neil. Pretty tough out there as Flanagan goes out of the pack. Keel has it right on the boundary line. In fact, uh, Hodges grabbed hold of Lennigan when he was nowhere near the ball, and uh, Lennigan will get the free kick. We've played just on three minutes into this first quarter. And St Kilda with the only score, a goal. Up to half forward. Strong mark taken by Cowie. A good goal to goal line here of uh, Cowie. He's not bad in a fixed position. Across to Morewood and sprays it quickly out of that outer wing. Bad kick. Bolton. Long one. St Kilda again. Oh! Upset themselves. Gary Ablett over his shoulder. Oh dear, oh dear. Miss the scoring uh, area completely and that's typical of Gary. He, he mixes them up a bit. Throw in. And it... Uh... Looks like it's Reynoldson to do the ruck work against Cowie. Rather negative ruck work, Glenn, as the ball trickles over the boundary line. And another throw in, in almost the same position. Chance for Geelong to equal the score. The Saints' first score on the board. A little shepherding in the ruck there uh, against Reynoldson. It's Cow to take it. Cowie for the back pocket. Getting a 15 metre as well. Coming around the member side this time, the Narkel. Narkel and Bolton. Well, nicely. Too tall for Narkel. Flanagan runs in, positioned well from about half forward. The long kick, Ablett and Cunningham, past both of them. Cunningham chases it, but sees it out. Throw in. Geelong's forward pocket. Maybe Geelong's missing Jacko up there as a focal point for attack. It's Reynoldson and Cowie. Keel the chance. Pushed off the ball by Ablett, who shoots for goal. That was a strength uh, effort then by Ablett, but it's only through for a behind. 
So there's Geelong's first score on the board. It's a behind at one point. St Kilda one goal, six points. So the difference, five points. It's Hodges into play. Side bottom drop it. Big fella Flanagan set himself here on the boundary line. Has a shot. Puts it through. Good play by young Flanagan. Pick up a lot of pace. Certainly matured since his first uh, effort in the league a couple of years back. A trimmer. Better Flanagan. Nice goal. He's got a bit of pace. Didn't Jeff, have, hasn't he, for a big fellow? He didn't have any starter, but he certainly worked on it. It's now Geelong at one point in front. Flanagan, who kicked that goal, though, gives away the free kick to side bottom. He got into his back, and let's see if uh, St Kilda can get back and regain the lead. The kick wide, looking there for Mace. Shocking kick. Neil, a beautiful hand pass. To Williams, to Ablett. Look at Ablett go. Well, can he get round Cow? He does. He shrugs it off and has a shot for the goal. Offline through for a behind. Electrifying uh, stuff by Ablett. It's exciting. I think that, well, it's a pity that there's not such a crowd here today. It's a very poor crowd. But uh, this could be an interesting match, this one. Oh, Paul Moore would take a kick here. He's got a lot of pace, this fella. Lovely pass down to Cronin. It was out. I thought that was strange. Oh, crikey. Side bottom and Flanagan. Flanagan nicely done. Chance for Bruns. Frawley comes at him. No, that wasn't Frawley, that was Cabone. And uh, St Kilda gradually forcing it around the boundary line toward their goal. Flanagan won that one. Williams tries to go through without the ball, but he was grabbed when he didn't have it. And Williams will get the free kick. Geelong starting to run now. Bolton's there, so too is Neil. But Williams elects to kick wide. Oh, Nelly the mark there to uh, Geelong player. Couldn't quite pick him up. Picked up by Couch and a beautiful lead by Lindner. And that was a good foot pass. Now Bolton's uh, running around on that half forward line. He's ran right out of defence onto the forward line, but... Uh, you can see Cowie and Reynoldson playing it. Boy, he's dropped back into the full forward position. Lindner now with the shot for goal. It's got the distance. Has it the accuracy? It has, and it's a beautiful kick by uh, Bruce Lindner. That's his first goal, and after uh, a good start by the Saints, Geelong have come back now, and they're leading by eight points. We seem to have a workable forward line with Lindner giving the, uh, being given the task of uh, the full forward position. Uh, his first kick was in the goal, and a lot of polish on his play. Seven minutes into the first term, it's Geelong uh, 14 to St Kilda 6, and uh, the side bottom beats Flanagan. Couch. Jeff Ablett. St Kilda into attack now. A lot of pace. Hands it there to Borwood. Borwood's long kick over the pack, it might get through. Oh, Ziegler punched it, made sure it wouldn't. Didn't attempt to mark. To behind the Saints. Gee, that was a good effort then by uh, Ablett to get it to uh, Morwood. Malarkey missed it, full back for Geelong. Out of side, side bottom, Flanagan over the top. Picked up by Ablett, but kicked up to the half forward line. Off the pack it comes. Breaking clear is Hocking. Hocking's kick towards the centre. Morwood will mark. Now I thought he could have got the free kick for over the shoulder, but Morwood comes back now, picks up, gives the hand pass away. And it's St Kilda through Ablett, up into the half forward line. Oh, Elfingston into the back. Breaking clear is Yates. He can go for a run, he loses the run of the ball. That was a costly mistake. And uh, free kick goes to Kiel. To Morwood, who's had plenty of kicks. Kicks wide, the chance there for Bennett. Oh, Bennett spoiled uh, his um, fellow player there in Manning. And this will allow uh, Geelong through Zickler to clear Bolton and Narkel. And uh, it's a push in the back against Narkel, the free kick going to Bolton. Well, but Narkel, uh, of course, matched in this, uh, this game. No, it's a no-go. It will have to be a restart. The wrong player's taken the free kick. It looks like Yates is going to take it. Is it Yates? No, no, it's... Uh... It is Yates. Of course it is. Into the centre. Waiting for the spoils. About four St Kilda players there. It's forward. Burns the centre, mate. 
Out to a lead, Bennett, number 25. Watch him, he's a left footer, so it's on his right side if he can get it before it rolls out. No, he couldn't make it, looked pretty slow there, did uh, John Bennett. And the ball to be thrown in St Kilda's end. I don't think he's the fastest player in the West, is he? <laughs> Geelong leading by uh, seven points. Burns tries to get the ball. Clearing kick uh, out of defence. Shane Williams pushed in the back. And uh, Williams will get the free kick. Goes for the uh, hand pass across to Tui. Tui's clearing kick up towards Buse, who made a valiant attempt to get the ball. Now, was it out on the full? Yeah, no, it wasn't. It's a throw in on that outer side. Ten minutes in. Geelong 14, St Kilda 7. Side bottom in front. Looks for the rover. Smith. It's a long running now. This is all right. The pass. Oh, into Lindner. Couch. Lindner. Oh! Lindner can drop it. Should have taken it. St Kilda with a big chance now. Oh, dropped by Idris, but recovered by Idris. Doesn't know what to do. Cunningham helps him out. Into the middle. There's two of them there. Mace. There'll be a 15 metre penalty against Neil, and this will bring Mace over the attacking side of centre. Play on, says the umpire. They're kicked up towards Bennett. Can he pull it down? He can't. Ziegler uh, pushes the ball away, but it's a free kick to Bennett for around the neck when that Geelong player, Ziegler, came through to punch the ball away. Player there, Geelong player next to umpire Morrow is Yates. But Bennett, Bennett's the man with the ball, and uh, it's Geelong leading by seven points. So uh, the Saints certainly need a goal here. They'll only be trailing by a point then. The left footer is Bennett. Oh, is he accurate? He is. And the difference now, only a point. Well, we could be in for an interesting afternoon. A perfect day for football. Typical of the Melbourne weather um, of recent days is absolutely, uh, well, I say no wind. There's a slight wind, but it's blowing across the ground. But it's so slight it doesn't matter. So the attacking end is, of course, uh, both ends. Funnigan beats side by Hughes. Interrupt that comes out the kneel. Gets away nicely. Centre half forward now. Cunningham and marks it because he was in front. He gets the hand pass to Hodges. The quick kick out of defence will be taken by uh, Buse. Buse doesn't know where to go. Under pressure there from Cabone. But let's say uh, St Kilda marker in defence. And away go the Saints. Kicks towards the centre. Burns there. Oh, into his back. But he propped. Yates tries to get the ball away. The hand pass from Neil to Bolton. On to Tui. Back to Yates. Yates can go for a run. Edge of the centre square, the long kick. Ablett is there. Frawley comes in to lend assistance. Kicked off the ground by Lindner. Here's a chance for Buse. He loses the run of the ball. And it's eventually left to uh, Frawley's clearing kick wide for Narkel. And the boundary line just a little too close. Good piece of play there. Some good skills from the Saints. A few mistakes made by the Geelong forwards. Sure they'll settle down. A point of it, 14 to uh, Geelong, 13 to St Kilda. Side bottom and Flanagan uh, lock hands. Geelong player takes a free. And Flanagan's kicked uh, one of Geelong's goals. Let's go with a long lead. Man in front, can't take it. Carbo. Half forward line. Burns and Tui. Tui's gone down on all fours. Burns gets a push in the back. Going the other way, it's going to Tui for pushing the back. Geelong's back pocket. I don't think Burns meant that. I think the momentum of uh, both players. Uh, Burns was content on getting the ball, so to his Tui, and uh, he caught it through the air. And I think um, a little unlucky was Burns. Tui's clearing kick. Ablett, Cunningham from behind. Williams, Lennigan. Danger for the St Kilda defence. Lennigan shoots for goal, but oh, that was a haphazard effort to get the behind post, so that's uh, out of bounds on the full. And the uh, free kick is going to Danny Frawley. It's about the third deliberate shot for goal that uh, Geelong are completely without scoring. Missed the area absolutely. Yeah. Ball's out on the uh, outer flank. 
Geelong, 14, St Kilda, 13. Halfway through the first quarter, only 15 minutes old, oh, there's Flanagan, he had the sit, knew where the umpire was going to put that ball, I just burrows into the bottom of the pack, but uh, umpire Morrow seems to uh, want to bounce it. Between wing and half forward, there's Ablett there waiting for the result of the bounce, two is side bottom. That's uh, Williams trying to break clear. That was Shane Williams. Good hip and shoulder. Bruns burrowing into the pack. And there'll be another bounce. Scratch and heel in there. Uh, no, it's Neil Bruns. Couple of redheads uh, really burrowing in for the ball. Between wing and half forward flank. Flanagan and side bottom. Williams. Pretty unattractive footy. At the, the way they went for that. That's the free kick to uh, Alan Sidebottom, and he's, uh, he's done a good job. Flanagan's probably had the better of the hit outs. Sidebottom towards the centre. Burns tries to take the mark. Nagel, Nagel roving well. Kicks uh, up towards Elphinstone, who's already kicked the goal. Now he should get a free kick there because Malarkey, I thought, was hanging on to Elphinstone. And the umpire says, let's throw it in. Saints fans are giving a bit of a hoo-ha, aren't they? They're not quite happy with the umpire decisions. Of course, we're on the members' sides. Geelong at, at back pocket. Tui read it nicely. Comes out of the play and just spears that down the centre wing. Forward and Williams. Clever skills, Williams. Neil are coming to help him out and wheels around. Gives it backwards to Buse. Oh, cut one high, he'll take the free. Play on Mr. Cole, which is a right call now by Morwood for St Kilda. A long kick, Elfinson. Well, he makes uh, an easy mark look difficult. It's his second mark, kick their first goal. Shouldn't have too much trouble kicking this one. And if he does, St Kilda will be back in front. No doubt about it, just got in though. Two clever marks by uh, Robert Elphinston and the Saints lead 19 to Geelong's 14. Like a lot of uh, backmen, uh, Jeff, who relishes the thought of um, having a yeah. spell on the forward line where you don't have to uh, mind anybody. Gives you should new lease of life. Elphingston's second goal, and it's uh, St Kilda now leading by five points. Smashini, the long hand pass. In the way is Tui, a grand defender. To half forward, Lindner, spoiled by Frawley. Hodges, nicely for St Kilda, but Shane Williams will mark. He's on the uh, wing, and he swings it in towards centre half forward. Oh, side bottom there, they shouldn't have kicked it there. He's too tall and too good. Hands it backwards to Smith. Ziegler couldn't take it. Geelong making a few mistakes, not getting the positive ball, but here's Bolton for the Geelong. Taking his time, runs again, boots it back. Morwood's there, he's got and can he anticipation this afternoon, Morwood, about the fourth time he's picked up the loose kick. Down to half four, that's his sixth kick. Over the pack, Manning! Back to Malarkey and Elphinston. Malarkey's in front, of course. Elphinston slips past him. Another chance. Oh, bad bounce, makes it hard to pick up. Ducks the tackle. Steadies, kicks it as a short one, Neil for Geelong. Well, uh, A for effort there to Elphinstone. He really didn't have any forwards to back him up or kick to. Neil's kick out of defence will be marked by the man we're talking about, Elphinstone. There'll be a 15 metres penalty. Now, that was a silly play by Geelong because that will bring uh, Elphinstone, well, I wouldn't say within kicking distance, but he'll drive the ball right into the goal area. Robert Elphinson. Oh, it's not a bad kick. Has it been touched? No, it hasn't. Great kick then by Robert Elphinson. That's his third goal. Well, let's give him a pat on the back, Clark, because the three goals in 20 minutes. A former back man, although I think he has played a bit of football on the forward line against one of the class fullbacks, Gary Malaki, is no mean effort. Elfenstone at the 20 minute mark, first term has just kicked his third goal, St Kilda lead 25 to 14, and the Cats through Williams go forward. Reynolds didn't know what to do. 
Here's Andrew Bew, spinning and turning court, has a blind shot. It sweeps straight past uh, scoring area once more. That's the fifth time that Geelong have had a shot that's gone past uh, uh, the scoring area for an out of bounds. Cowie over the top, Ablett to Showy. Cunningham, Frawley. Williams stands his ground courageously. Oh, I thought that was a little strange. Yes, I felt he'd get rid of that one. The only one going for the ball. Morwood has the uh, free kick for St Kilda, plus a 15 metres penalty. Morwood a long kick. Bennett up high into the back of uh, Yates. That was quite <laughs> obvious, and uh, Yates will get the free kick. That would have been the mark of the day. <laughs> oh, a handball for a man who can't walk. That's bad news. That's Linda. Linda yeah. He's coming off. He'll have to. Bad way. Huh? Did you he see cramped. what He just cramped. He Did went he? to run and then Did cramped. He? Bennett with the kick to half forward. Oh, McAdam. McAdam, who started on the interchange, has crept on as uh, Linda goes off. I think it's cramp. I suppose we shouldn't really diagnose uh, what's wrong with him, but it does the look, race. Does look the a bit like cramp or something like that. But back with McAdam. Has a shot for goal. He's put it through for St Kilda's fifth goal at the 22-minute mark of this first quarter. And what a great start for the Saints. And they're really carrying on from last week's big win over Fitzroy. Well, that was Anzac Day, of course. Well, a quick analysis of their, uh, their performance. Side bottom is winning those centre bounces. Uh, Morwood's tremendous around the ground as a ruck rover to clean up, man. Uh, they've got an energetic full, full forward there in Elferson has kicked three. The Saints. 31 to Geelong's 14, and Flanagan takes on side bottom. He wins. Neil can't get the ball to his boot. Runs this time. Forced ball up. The wind, if there is any, blowing uh, virtually across the ground or into the uh, pocket to which uh, St Kilda are kicking. Oh, it should be a, a push in the back then to Ablett, I thought. Keel about to break clear, but uh, the umpire comes in and says, I'll oh, bounce. Probably a hard match to uh, umpire. Both sides desperate to get in there and get the ball. A few of the skills missing. Oh, that wasn't a good, uh, skillful bounce by the umpire. Smith, number 30, can't go with it. Lenigan out to Bruns. Ablett, the two fives, and Cunningham. Oh. And the five for Geelong, Ablett, has taken the mark. And these two are having a great battle. Yes, it's, uh, it's worth the money to see it so far. They started in, in uh, dynamic fashion. This is Gary Ablett's fifth kick. Jeff Cunningham's had a few as well. And here he goes. Beautiful kick. But again, he sprays it. That's his third behind, I think. Yes, uh, it, it's a fair way out, let's face it, but uh, it certainly tailed off, didn't it? So. And it would appear that uh, Gary Hodges is going to put the ball back into play. What's, what's going happening here? There's a free kick. I think it might be a Geelong free kick. To whom? It's going to Buse, is it? Well, I'm confused. Well, we'll be interested to find oh. out what happened there. virtually gives him a uh, kick off the goal line, so he certainly won't miss this. They need it. And uh, that was a giveaway goal. I just can't tell you the reason for that at the moment. Unless it was an infringement uh, on the kicker, but he didn't even kick out, did he? Well, uh, Buse has done his job. He's kicked the goal because now... Uh, We've got um, all of these coming on for Geelong. Another big player up forward. So they've swapped a tall player for a smaller player. Now the goal's uh, credited to Andrew Muse. 
That goal of Hughes, 10 points the difference. Flanagan gets the tap down. Couch gets it out to Flanagan on to Williams. Too slow, tackled by Smith. Chance there for Ablett. Bruns has got it, gets rid of it. St Kilda fans screaming for a free kick and all they're going to get is a bounce. Oh. Well, the uh, skills of tackling are certainly coming to the fore there from both teams. Vicious. Funny you this the back. Off ball, here's Mike Manningham. Bad handball. Faschini going the other way, but it may be the best effort. Reynoldson not doing much. Runs, couldn't get the kick in. All the tackling is harassment's tremendous. Mike Renningham's tackled by McAdam. A ball up 25 metres from Geelong's goal. Ten points of difference, the Saints in front. And it's on the half forward line for Geelong. Cowie in ruck. Kicked out of the pack for Geelong. Lennigan and uh, Cunningham both running for the ball, but it's over the boundary line. And listen to the St Kilda fans. They're not really wrapped in uh, the umpiring at the moment. Although they're 10 points in front. Cowie and Reynoldson. Frawley. Narkel. Could have given it to uh, Croman. Pops it around the neck. And uh, Narkel will get the free kick. Narkel finds side bottom by himself. No, he won't. Shane Williams up high. Neil tries to come through, runs into Flanagan. He's still got the ball. Runs back, breaks a tackle from Mace. Well played by uh, Neil. Gets the lead from uh, Shane Williams. Bolton for Geelong. Nice shepherding from Lennigan will allow Bolton to come up to half forward. Bolton's kick dropping short. Oh, nice mark there by Terry Smith, the former Richmond player. I bet he was timing himself for that too as he came in because Cunningham and Abbott were just dwelling uh, for the ball to come to them. Smith uh, saved them the trouble. Long kick, Flanagan at side bottom. Flanagan punches away from side bottom. Geelong flat footed at the moment. Couch over the head. Anyone's ball at the moment. Comes to Reynoldson. Flat footed. Morgan. Lennigan. A shot. A goal. Real struggling passage of football by both sides then. Geelong finding St Kilda hard to shake off. The Saints still in front, 31 to 27. Lennigan, um, it's a real goer for Geelong. Missed out, they've missed the first uh, three or four matches, or three matches at least. Lennigan's first goal. And it's uh, St Kilda leading by four points. Cronin, Burns and uh, Tui. A little bit of hanging on there. Burns has got the ball. Thought he took it out. No, he's still there. That's Boss. Back there to Tui. Clearing kick will be marked by Bruns. Bruns decides to kick long. Side bottom. Nice mark. Yeah, it was like it's a lovely mark. A nice handball to the fleet footed I just run from the back line. Now it's McAdam about centre half forward. Goes for the long kick. It'll get there. Larky knew it was going to through. He knew he could do nothing about it. McAdam's long kick just plopped in. Like a howitzer shot. The Saints have a handy 10 point lead. 37 to 27. Second goal. McAdam's second goal. That's a lead of 10 points to St Kilda. Cronin, tackled by Bruns. Held to him, says uh, umpire Mitchell. Uh, we haven't noticed umpire Mitchell too much. It's been his more senior partner, Morrow, who's been making all the decisions which haven't uh, uh, endeared him to St Kilda fans. <laughs> well, a big pack around the centre bounce there. Terry Smith. Crutch. Keel. Couldn't take that one. Cronin. The runner is knuckled. Caught flat foot at Morwen. Sidestep. Puts a tremendous strain on his knees. Another long shot. Elfinson's there. Touch this time. I thought he was putting his hand up to say it was a goal. <laughs> Behind. Well, that was, uh, shall we say, touch and go. 
Malaki, the lead from Williams, who's all over the place. Now Williams will slow down play on the uh, back line for Geelong. The kick looking for Flanagan. Flanagan a little too much pace for uh, his opposition inside by them on that occasion. And Flanagan, good, strong, young Ruckman, kicks towards Ablett. Cunningham is there. Little portion sharp. Morewood to Narkle. Away go the Saints again. McAdam. No, couldn't get it. Elphinstone, how does he get those long arms up there in that awkward fashion to trap the ball? Bennett took his eyes off it. Cronin's got it. McAdam, can he come in and kick a goal? And he has what a miraculous goal. That's his third. It certainly was. It certainly was. Uh, all of a sudden, he's flashed into the scene. Uh, been a very damaging player. Kicked two goals in a couple of minutes. Helping out Robert Elphiston, who's playing full forward, has also kicked three goals. Ziegler, his opponent from Geelong, is scratching his head. McKenna, three goals. Elphiston, three goals. 30 minutes into the first turn. The Saints, 44 to Geelong's 27. And the siren goes. The crowd love it. The Saints, 17 point lead at the first change. Quarter commences. Sakura off to a good start on the first term. Three goals to each Alfredston and McAdam. They lead by 17 points. Flanagan, but didn't get to a rover. Key off of St Kilda. He had a Cronin. Well, Boss got back there nicely. Hocking was. Number 41, a little bit of pushing there and scratching Eels back. He'll take the free kick, half back for Geelong. Neil, one of the Geelong veterans now. Now none of the Geelong players are running. Couch was, but the kick's long and side bottom will take yet another mark. He's played a superb game. That's his uh, fifth mark. Hand pass to Hodges. Burns the chance. No, but judging it to a nicety is Zickler. Zickler's on the wing position. Carbone, secure on the mark, a good kick, Gary Ablett, oh, he got a bit spilled it, oh, the crowd warming to Gary Ablett, he hasn't had a great deal, Hodges takes the ball away, kicks it onto the half forward line now, Ziegler, well, these two boys uh, fumble, but the kick will have to come back, it's a relayed free kick from an action further down the field, no, um, actually, um, Yates was hanging on to Bennett, and Yates is remonstrating with the umpire, saying he had hold of me. But there's the kick from Bennett. Elvingston nearly a one hand. It could have got the free kick. I thought Flanagan got him round the neck. Burns trying to get it. Oh, look at uh, Boss trying to go through. Bennett's got it again. Players just swarming in, are throwing the ball against Bennett. And it's going, the free kick is going to Mark Boss. Long kick, no one there. Narkle strides out after it. Harry Abbott covering a lot of ground. It was a fickle bounce for him. Let's his opponent, Jeff Cunningham, pick it up. And Cunningham spears that beautifully to Ball. Ball playing at centre today. Across the base. Base within kicking distance. Hocking in front. Knocks it down. Where the edge are over. Alfredson. Off goal. The agility of a cat. says, uh, cheers the Saints fans on, I think, uh, that was his uh, gesture. What a surprise. Robert Alfredson lined up at full forward for the Saints. He's kicked four goals against Geelong champion Gary Malarkey. Well, I think he'd go back, have to go back a long way in the record books to see Malarkey get such a hiding as he is now. That's Tui on him now, isn't it? Or is it uh, Yates? 23 uh, point lead now to St Kilda. Morwood, Keel. That was Neil who punched the ball out. Comes down to uh, Ablett. That's Jeff. The kick up to the half forward line. Nelly Burns. Clearing kick by Malarkey. Side bottom. Oh, lovely pair of hands. Very strong when he gets those hands to a vice like. It's his sixth mark. Oh, she was upset. Williams has reported. A 
It's Greg Williams of Geelong. Team is reported. He put Fashidi down. It happened at the uh, four-minute mark of this second quarter. Oh, something must have happened there because Williams, a very uh, fair uh, ball player. Fashidi's moved back uh, to the bank of uh, the training staff there. Classic, this. <laughs> Who's free kick oh, is it? Faulty Towers, this. <laughs> Side bottom. Cunningham. Now we've got the footy going. Morwood. Morganelli the mark for Geelong. Mace. Oh, over the top to Smith. High kick. Bennett. Some of the most uh, unusual and maybe unbelievable things are happening here at the Moorabbin Oval between uh, these two, St Kilda and Geelong this afternoon. Incredible mark by Bennett. And a left footer, he's really pulled that shot. It's a behind. Nevertheless, the Saints with a commanding lead. 51 to 27. 24 points lead. There's the kick in, it'll be marked uh, by Boss to Bolton. Bolton uh, runs the measure, looking for Morgan. Good play by Hodges. Oh, Morgan used his body br brilliantly then. He's in trouble. Bolton, who followed up down the ground, back to uh, Morgan. Morgan in trouble, runs. Runs across to Williams, no. Oh, Reynoldson. And that's Reynoldson right, right on the edge of the centre square. Now Gary Abbott running back into account contentions. He's getting... Oh, beautiful piece of play there. I give the plaudits there to Gary Abbott because he was so quick. He moved from one side of the ground to the other. And I think it's the training here is kick it to where the player will be. And it came off beautifully. Well, he's yet to kick a goal. He's hit, uh, I think, about three behinds. And he's kicked that one. And that's breathed some light back into the uh, the very listless uh, catch at the moment. They move on to 33 to St Kilda's 51. Seven, six minutes into this second turn. Cunningham and Ablett both have had a great duel yeah. down there. Yeah. Uh, Cunningham is tough as old boots and Ablett brilliant. Ablett's first goal, he's kicked one goal, uh, three, and the difference now, 18 points in favour of St Kilda as Keel tries to break clear. Leon says the umpire, Williams gets the hand pass out in the open, Neil's got a lot of pace, Cowie is there, Neil kicks it off the ground. Player's just falling on top of the ball at the moment, and that's uh, Alderdice on the bottom of the pack, number 34, and he's playing uh, up at full forward. First game for uh, the Cats, Craig Alderdice. There's the uh, bounce, Alderdice goes up, but Frawley beats him for the tap. Comes down to Couch, Couch snaps for goal, but he's offline and through for a behind. So the difference now, 17 points, and we've been playing just on uh, seven and a half minutes in this first turn. Second quarter, I should say. Socks down, Hodges. For St Kilda to boot the ball back into play. Uh, he elects the outer side of the ground. I don't know whether that's the best he can do. Look, oh, well, oh, it's so close the best he can do. Why not Gary Sidebottom? Alan Sidebottom, rather, his seventh mark. He feeds that to Narkel. Narkel's on the halfback, then kicks from whence he came, quickly across to McAdam. The ball went too far for it, still in. So it'll be a ball up there, I think. Um, got the field up by on the outer wing. Stop start football. Narkel for St Kilda. Bolton tackled him. Neil, who's lifted his game, 
Into the pocket looking for the leading Morgan. Hodges is there, number 29. Tries to run through Couch. Reynoldson is there. But uh, Hodges is going to get the free kick for around the neck. Hodges immediately plays on. Ablett. Oh, strong mark then by uh, Shane Williams. It was a strong mark, wasn't it? Yes, he's taken a couple of uh, very good grabs. Now for half forward, Geelong are trailing uh, by 17 points. Well, poor kick. Right, cut through the air, and uh, again we find a kill them out of the way. It's not just the full back, or the back block, or whatever. Marks it, kicks it out to, to uh, the wing. It was meant for Jeff Ablett. Brunts came in and is marked. Now, I don't know whether he can make the distance from here. Gary Ablett's running back into the goal square. Brunt's uh, going to kick the ball long. Aldadis is uh, lurking around the goal area, and it goes past it here to Ablett, who gets a run. He'll get it! Oh, yes! He held it long enough. That's all you have to do. You can see the way he plucked it in the air. He lost his grasp. But then he, you can see that he picked it up again before it touched the ground. Like your explanation there, Jeffrey. <laughs> As long as you've got control of the football at some stage, and uh, I guess that's how the umpire saw that one. Gary Ablett, one goal three, kicked the goal a few moments ago. Can he make it uh, two goals three? No, he can't. It's one goal four. He doesn't look too happy with himself either. Uh, Geelong will be saying, uh, finally, finally he could convert. back into play. Can't mark that. Stephen Reynolds in possession. Cowie uh, holding the ball as a rule there. Cowie for some kilter takes the free kick centre half back. And a handy half back he's been today too, the big fellow. Chance there for Bennett. Can't mark. Narkel in the middle of that pack. Gets the hand pass away. There was no pressure. That's Williams. Shane Williams out to uh, Neil. Neil off the left boot towards Reynoldson. Bounces off Reynoldson's knee. Cowie was there. Chance now for Neil. Courageous play. Lennigan over to uh, Neil. No, he elects to go to Morgan, is it? And Morgan has a shot for goal. Has he put it through? Yes, he has. And that's uh, Morgan's first goal. And what a great goal it was. Well, he's done very little in the match uh, to date. That's it. Uh, but you can do no more than 100% uh, accuracy. It's his only kick. Here he is. Darren Morgan. Mop of uh, reddish blonde hair. Fanning has got to do more in the ruck. Side bottom knocks it out, but it's Shane Williams who gets it. Geelong's couch. Lovely left foot kick. Down to Alderdice. Waits for a smaller man to come through, and it's Mike Rennigan, another goal! Good play, Geelong. They're starting to put it together again. He's a dangerous player, Lennigan. Never stops running. A very dangerous player around the uh, half-forward area. Gets in there. There's not a great deal of him, he's, um, but he's wiry and very fit and never stops running, and that's possibly his secret. That's Lennigan's second goal, and the difference now, four points. The side bottom gets the tap down. Burns runs through, loses the run of the ball. Side bottom grabbed them, will get the free kick. And that's against Couch. Side bottom went to give it to uh, Narkel then. A little slow sometimes. Side bottom uh, incising up where the forwards are. Chance for Burns. No, couldn't mark. McAdam, he's already kicked three goals. Comes through the pack. Oh, we'll have to ball it up, I think. It's an interesting second quarter. Kilda seem to have lost their grasp on the game. They've, they've managed one goal this, in this quarter. Geelong have kicked three. St Kilda had to do something now over the top. The mark uh, taken in the goal square by uh, Mark Yates. And quickly out to Shane Williams. He goes down the middle. Gary Ablett and Reynoldson. Two Geelong men waiting for the ball to come out, but it won't come out. It's Terry Smith the Saints. They pounce on him like a 
Seagull on a muscle. And here's the uh, bounce just uh, wide of centre. Flanagan grabs it. Shane Williams off the right boot. High, Reynolds in the chance. Oh, but chipping in Burns nicely. Oh, he goes over. Intimidated then by Williams. Cowie out the side bottom is in trouble. No, he's not. Got it out of that nicely. Faschini over the top to Cronin. Draws couch. No, kicks wide to McAdam. Shane Williams. McAdam's got it. Nice tackle by the Geelong player. St Kilda now into attack. Oh, but an ill-directed kick then and it's been marked by uh, Boss. Boss is clearing kick. Side bottom, good mark. Cowie picks up. Hodges, Flanagan the chance. And Flanagan marks at half back. See what the big fella can do now. Oh, it's a nice kick. He made the, the correct decision there to spear that one out to the uh, wing position. It's Couch, it's the player. Oh, he looted them with the handball and goes to the left foot kick to Ablett. Oh, free kick to Ablett, it should be. Jeff Cunningham uh, a little frustrated now uh, against Ablett because uh, Ablett's taken two wonderful marks in this, in this second term. Shoved him in the back, but Ablett's uh, not on target. He's kicked one goal four. It'll make the distance, but again, it's gone uh, past the goal and it's bent back. Another behind, so 1 5. How would it be if it was five goals? One. The picture would be uh, entirely different. This catch would be a mile in front. Instead, it's Kilda leading 51 to 48. Narkoloff, and uh, coming on is uh, Andrew Manning for St Kilda. 17 is Keel. Nobody within Kui. Keel can go for a run. Now kicks up into the half forward line. Morgan, 36, Mace. Mace on the bottom of the pack, tackled by Morgan. And uh, umpire is going to bounce on the outer side wing. 15 minutes gone in this uh, second quarter, and it's three points the difference in favour of the Saints. Hocking is now playing on McGadam. Got a kick for, for three goals, by the way. Paul Moore playing well in, around the centre position. Oh, great stuff by Manning. Boy from Darsford. I was told uh, earlier today that he's got a big future. This fella can play the game, and he certainly can. Williams to take the free kick. Williams in the centre of the ground, looking for the lead. The kick, not a very good one. Oh, nearly the free kick, I thought, to Reynoldson. Cunningham got into the back of him, but it's desperate defence. And uh, Daryl Cowie then uh, clapping the St Kilda defenders for showing so much uh, initiative and effort there. Because it's desperate for uh, St Kilda. They looked as if they were going to run away with this, but uh, now their lead has been cut back to three points after they led by 17. Mace, McAdam and Bennett. McAdam, 21. It's going to be cut off there by Hocking, but gets the kick high. Burns. Chance for Keel. This will be a great goal if he can kick it. But he's just offline and through for a behind. So the difference now, four points at the 17 and a half minute mark of the second quarter. And a bit of everything in it this second quarter with a bit of uh, fierce tackling and a lot of mistakes being made. Some fine marks taken. A few, uh, bit of indecision by the umpires. And the scores are... The gap is uh, shortening. The push the back there to Shane Williams against uh, St Kilda's uh, Frank Carbone. And uh, Williams at the back line, straight into the centre. Oh, Cunningham! Well, so there's a big couch in front of him and a, and a stairway to get to it. He did that beautifully. The kick out towards uh, Bennett now. And Bennett on the wing. Some frustration there. A Geelong player, the ball to be thrown in. Flanagan against Manning, Buse, dispossessed uh, of the ball there by um, Bennett. Certainly thrown himself into it. They say he hasn't got much pace, but he's uh, playing, I think, at centre-half forward. There's the bounce again. 
Flanagan can't get it. Oh, look at all those players there. Now Huntington packs. I think a free kick has been picked out. That's going against McAdam to uh, Andrew Buse. No, it's going to big Daryl Flanagan. Oh, foolish handball there. That, uh, oh, that was ridiculous. Geelong in a lot of trouble if they can get out of it. The umpire's whistle's gone. The free kick here coming back to uh, Portadice. Oh, it's uh, Ziegler, rather. Sorry. Uh, good lead there from Brunt. Now, Alderdice is in this frame. Lobing kicked you know, Abbott. No, Alderdice at this stage tries to hand it to Abbott. Cunningham bumps him out of the way. Good play. Here's his brother, Jeff Abbott, for St Gilda now, running back into the back pocket, opening up the play, and then puts a long kick right out of play. Well, it may not be too bad, Clark, because Gary Sidebottom is uh, beating all in that ruck, isn't he? I'm oh, sorry, Alan. Alan Sidebottom. Yeah. That's Reynoldson steering the ball to half forward. And the mark has been uh, taken by Shane Williams again. Gee, he covers a lot of ground, doesn't he? Shane Williams. Left half forward flank. Shane Williams to drive the ball into the goal. The kick's not a good one. Dropping short. And Alan Sidebottom will take the easiest of marks. Sidebottom. Down the middle of the ground, Buse is there, Burns comes in, but there was a whistle before this happened, and there's going to be a free kick, and it's going St Kilda's way. 15 metres penalty, actually. So this will bring side bottom uh, well out of danger. In fact, uh, a decent kick will go over the centre. Scrambly football at Moorab, and it's not a high-class game. Side bottom wide, looking for McAdam. Behind him is Hocking. Smith, Cronin. Morewood, the chance, collides with Mace. Smith, the dasher, trying to use strength, ridden to the ground. Oh, players are just falling over. Bolton, Boss, Flanagan. Flanagan in the middle of the ground, the long kick. Ablett, no, Cunningham played him from the front. Side bottom, out of bounds on the full, but the fellow has um, played his heart out for the Saints number two. And... Uh, I guess even at this early stage, he could be tied. Shane Williams, uh, the kick towards Williams. That's uh, Greg Williams, but he's got to go back and kick over the man on the mark. Be interested to see uh, what's happening in that goal square at the moment. Of course, you can bet that Gary Abbott will be there and Jeff Cunningham with him. This is uh, his tenth kick. He's done well. There's Gary Abbott and Cunningham, uh, virtually ankle to ankle. The sun's in their eyes. Reynoldson had a hand to it, a very half-hearted attempt. Lennigan's kicked the cup. He's been a good forward for Geelong. And that ball's whipped across the line. Throw in, Geelong in. Geelong's in. And there's the throw in. It's Cowie and Reynoldson. Cowie gets one hand to it. Reynoldson uh, trying to get the ball before it goes over the boundary line to no avail. And there'll be a throw in about four metres around from where it was thrown in last time. Cowie, 20. Reynoldson used the body well to get to the front. Gets it down to uh, Ablett, who has a shot for goal for Geelong, but across the face of goal and out of bounds. So Gary Ablett, admittedly, that was a tough one, but uh, one goal, five, and one out of bounds to Gary Ablett. Oh, for a straight kick in Gary Ablett. So the catch. Here he is now. Missed again. That's his sixth behind. Well, one day, very soon... He's going to reverse that and kick about 12 goals one. Three points the difference. And it's uh, Gary Hodges with the ball. Cowie, the lead. Cowie can't mark, number 20. Greg Williams from half forward. A long kick, Ablett and Cunningham. Nice play by Cunningham. Used the body well. Oh, no, it's not going to be a score. The free kick is going to Cunningham. Immediately plays on, gets the hand pass out to uh, Frawley. Frawley's clearing, clearing kick up towards side bottom. Oh, he, oh, look, this fellow does some amazing things. And then he messes it up with some uh, simple executions of football. He just took his eyes off the footy. I, thought he, I think he thought he had it. <laughs> look at the, the gaggle of people around this throw-in. There's 20 players there. Burns, the Saints, and Cabo, first-year player. Nice kick in the middle. Paul Moore and Ort went right through and they in. I just following from the back line. Ignores the forwards. It's Elfinstein. 
in consummate ease. He virtually just trotted in to take that mark. He's kicked four goals, three in the first term. Malarkey was moved away from him uh, early in this second quarter. Mark Yates is his opponent at the moment. And then he kicked like a back. <laughs> it's a behind. Five goals, one to uh, the captain of St Kilda. To go to the captaincy after uh, Trevor Barker. He's ruled unfit to play for several weeks. The kick in. Oh, Hocking misses it. McCannum will come in. Now the hand pass to Elphinstone. He grabs it, runs into trouble. Has a kick off the ground. Back to McCannum and he goes. McCannum's fourth goal, a comedy of errors. of errors, but it ended up okay with uh, Greg McAdam kicking his fourth goal. Well, St Kilda have two forwards, Greg McAdam and Robert Elphinstone, who have kicked nine goals, nine... Uh, Here the play continues in the middle from Geoffrey Ablett. Paul Morwood running out of space. Right in front of the St Kilda grandstand and they love their Saints at the moment. Their side bottom in front. Oh, runs into trouble. That was uh, Tui. Runs clearing kick. Ablett. Oh, Fashini cops one. By G, poor old uh, Silvio Faschini, certainly uh, doing it the hard way today. Kicks to Mace, in the centre of the ground, short. Bennett showing pace. Oh, took his eyes off the football. Manning is there, should lend support. Well done, Gary Malarkey. Over the top. And the clearing kick by Geelong up into the half-forward line. Ablett runs out to try and meet the ball. Cunningham's there, he can't grab it. Reynoldson can, too slow. Smith's got it, hasn't got the strength, but gets the ball clear now, only to find Reynoldson with it. Reynoldson screws the ball to full forward, and Buse has marked. That was a good, strong mark then by Andrew Buse, who has already kicked a goal in controversial circumstances. Hodges was about to kick in for St Kilda, then the umpire gave uh, Buse a free kick, then there was uh, a 15 metres penalty, which put him right on the goal line. He made no mistake. That's how he got his first goal. Second goal, if it's coming up. Yes, he's got two. It's from a good mark. Andrew Buse, a second uh, goal. And the difference now, only four points. And we've been playing just on 26 and a half minutes into the third turn. Interesting, Geelong seemed to be bereft of forwards with Ablett uh, not on target today with one goal. One goal, six and a couple of out-of-bounds. But they have six individual goal scorers where St Kilda are, are limited to uh, just the three. With uh, Elphistone and McAdam with four each. Four points in it. The Saints in front into the time on period in the second term. Side bonus. A dominating player. Cronin. Lovely left footer. Elphistone perhaps has a double back. The back of the pack is a lovely mark. McAdam again. The boy from Alice Springs can really play football. Wears very short shorts as well. He's kicked four goals straight. Very neat football, this fella. He just casually thumps that one through. Five goals, leading goal kicker in the match. And the Saints lead 65 to 55. And the Saints fans uh, really relishing this. Had a taste of victory on Anzac Day when St Kilda at their last outing won by uh, four points and a heart stopper. McAdams fifth goal, St Kilda by 10 points. Flanagan, second attempt. Mace, Cronin, 
Boss is there. Nice mark by Cronin. Morewood in trouble. Gets the kick away. Elphinston. Yates. Bennett. Fine mark then by John Bennett. Sticky fingers, Bennett. And with St Kilda leading 10 points, and we're into the time on period by about two minutes into the second term. This will be a good goal if he can kick it. I don't think he has. No, Elphinston trying to uh, con the uh, goal umpire on, on that occasion, but it didn't come off. So it's one goal, two to John Bennett, giving and the difference now 11 points. Sorry, Clark, he was just giving himself a mental dressing down for uh, missing that one. So Yates for Geelong, out to Greg Williams, forward there to take it away from him. No Bolton in possession. We'll have a ball up. Geelong seem to be in bother at both ends of the ground. They certainly can't control the brilliance of Elphinstone and, uh, and McAdam. Of course, they don't have a, a goal kicker uh, on their forward line, but six goal kickers. It's better for Flanagan. A nice kick to the pack, and then comes it out. A good play. Bennett uh, tried to shape it well, but uh, gives the free kick away to his opponent, this time Gary Malarkey. Malarkey moved off uh, Elphinstone, kicks wide, Bruns is there. Oh, nicely judged mark by Bruns. Cabone a little late for St Kilda, that was possibly a lack of uh, experience. Bruns immediately plays on. Long kick, Ablett's got the run of the ball, oh, Mr. Hughes. Reynoldson, St Kilda defence, desperate. They've got an 11 points lead, no one to hang on to that at half time. We've played just over 30 minutes. There'll be a bounce on half forwards, and Kilda must keep Geelong out. There's the uh, bounce, side bottom gets it down. Cunningham's clearing kick. Oh, it has been marked by uh, Buse. No, it's Couch. Couch. There's uh, Ablett, the vocal point. Vocal point of the uh, Geelong attack. Cunningham wearing him like a glove. But now we're back with uh, young Paul Couch. It's a long way out, the high kick into the uh, goal area, but there's been a bit of pushing and shoving. The umpire has picked out a free kick. Gee, Ablett. <laughs> against, against his opponent, uh, Jeff Cunningham, who's not impressed. Goodness me, right on half time. And uh, Gary Ablett has the free kick. He's kicked uh, one goal, six, and one out of bounds. In fact, he's had 12 kicks. Still here, the siren. Ablett, a goal. And uh, at half time, the scoreboard uh, is reading St Kilda 10 6 66, leading Geelong by five points. Geelong 9 7 61. Here, please. Listen. St Kilda fans are urging the Saints on. They're leading by five points as we start this third term after leading by 17 at. Uh, Quarter time, Flanagan gets the tap down, Keel in the way, gets the kick of the second attempt. McAdam, who's been a star, Bolton grabs him, he goes down, Yates tries to kick the ball. Oh, look at the pack there, Shane Williams just barges his way through. I think it's going to get a little bit willing. The umpires will have to have tight control as umpire Mitchell about to uh, bounce the ball. And it's Flanagan, but it goes to McAdam, he's brought down by Bolton. And that's the move that Geelong has made. Uh, McAdam kicked uh, two goals in that second term and three in the first. Greg McAdam, number 21. And they've got Bolton, number 16, on him. Flanagan over the top of side bottom. Narkel to half forward. Strong play there by uh, Bennett. He's still got the ball. McAdam fighting for it. The Geelong defence desperate. Oh, and the uh, St Kilda fans reckon that the umpires haven't done the right thing by uh, their heroes. That's uh, secured by five points. His boss played that well. Oh, the delivery's not uh, crash hot. Oh, clever mark there to Greg Williams, who was reported in the first quarter for striking the Shady. Shoots out nicely to Bruns. Bruns up the full forward quickly. Gary Ablett! Yeah. Well, I think Jeff Cunningham completely lost sight of the ball or lost concentration because uh, all that Abbott did then was just to swing back the other way to take an easy mark. 
and uh, he's a kicking. His kicking's been all astray. He's kicked one goal, six and two out of bounds. See what I mean? Shakes his head. Another behind. So two goals, seven it is to Ablett. That makes the difference uh, four points. And uh, I'm just looking for the leads. Gets one from Fashini. Catch a uh, long way behind Silvio Fashini. Fashini the long kick side bottom under it. Nice work then by uh, Tui to fist the ball away from Burns. Morwood, who's played well, chips it in short to Burns. And a good strong mark under pressure from Greg uh, Williams. Be pretty quiet, Burns. Uh, it's his third kick only and trying to find a forward. Geelong seem to be in control at the moment. Uh, Box what's that away from McAdam. McAdam's been a star with, uh, with five goals. Elphinstone and uh, Flanagan. Flanagan uh, trying hard. Comes out to Keel, but the mark has been taken by Yates. Did it travel the uh, required distance? Yes, it did, said the umpire. Flanagan, the clearing kick. Ablett leading well down from half forward. Cunningham tries to fist the ball away and got into the back of Ablett. Now the St Kilda fans are going crook, but the free kick was there because Ablett played in front. He's on the back line. He's coming a lot of territory. A lovely kick to uh, Greg Williams. Uh, he's a centre player playing against Morwood. Moves the ground well. Into the middle there too. And they'll have a quick look. A couple of alternatives there. Big Darren Flanagan, Flanagan now. Pops that right up into the pocket. Ooh, just found touch. And the ball uh, to be thrown in. Geelong's end. And uh, they're gunning uh, tremendously on St Kilda. They're only four points behind and a chance to get in front now. Thrown Frawley and Elderdees. Elderdees gets it down to Bruns. A nice tap. Bruns has a snap for goal. Will Smith get there? No, it's not Smith. It's Frawley. Frawley's clearing kick beautifully to Cunningham. Magnificent play out of defence. Cunningham, the long kick. Tui, no good mark. Chance now for Cabone. Cabone kicks high. Elphinston is there. One hander. One hander. How did he do it? <laughs> well, he's just uh, dwelling on uh, Robert Elphinstone for a moment. Uh, he made a couple of the marks early in the game look very, very difficult, a couple of easy ones, but uh, he made that hard one look easy then. Five goals to Elphinstone to match his teammate Greg McGannon. A couple of stars on the forward line for St Kilda. Picked in the side at full back, lined up at full forward. Thrashed Gary Malarkey. Yates is now having his brother with him. I think There's Flanagan there. Yeah. Yeah. So Rob, Robert Elphinstone fan there was uh, uh, CVD the footy. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got to bring out a new one. Here it comes now. Even though we haven't started play, look how close Mace is there to uh, Neil. He was chesting him. Look, I let him out of his sight. It's what you call tight football, I guess. <laughs> well, Efferson's just kicked his fifth goal after a spectacular one-hander. Mark and the Saints lead by ten points. Mace out for Nervous planning it into attack. Good tackle put on... Uh, Michael Lennigan there by uh, Narkel, who hasn't done very much. There's been a few Saints right out of the play, but they're still in front. Narkel's floating kick to the forward line. Malaki, too long for him. It's got it, gets it now. Shane Williams runs into trouble. Forward picks up, strikes off the tackle. Good play. Cronin out position. Boss to Malaki. This is better stuff from the Cats there. Ten points down, going into attack. The half forward line of Gary Ablett and Jeff Cunningham. Ball up, half forward for Geelong. Saints with a 10 points lead. It's only early in this third term, six minutes gone. Cowie 
Reynoldson. Cow gets the tap down. Bruns is there. Standing start, the high kick. A lot of pushing and shoving there. But uh, it was Old Devise and Frawley having that little shove. Frawley's got it now. A hand pass to Smith. Brilliant play out of defence. Odgers, a beautiful pass to Moorwood. To Keel. This is magnificent football by the Saints. The kick is not a good one. Get it? No. Leon says the umpire. Thought he had fair purchase. Boss, clearing kick. Chance for Jeff Ablett. Nice shepherding by Cunningham against Shane Williams. Mace, the sun in his eyes. Fists it further afield to side bottom. Knuckle, has he got the pace to get away from Bruns? No. Burns out of position. Tui, beautiful hand pass to Lenahan. This is good football. Lenahan goes for a run. Steers the ball towards Reynolds. Goes under it. Chance for Couch. Neil, great play to Morgan. On to Lenahan. Lenahan shoots for goal and he's offline. What well, great football. It's a bit like a rally in women's tennis, Clark, where it lasts for a few belts over the net. That was good stuff then. Hodges. Williams. Played well uh, on this flank as Shane Williams. His 11th kick and he boots it straight back. All the dice. Up. Jeff Cunningham, Gary Ablett. Can't find the, the goals this afternoon. And that ball's uh, rolled out of play. Nine points the difference. Eight minutes gone in this third term and we've seen some good football. Frawley and uh, Alderdice. Cabone breaking clear for St Kilda. Looking there for Cronin. Zickler grabbed too high by Mace. And the free kick will go Zickler's way. In fact, the St Kilda fans starting to boo every decision now. That's not right. <laughs> penalty is it? Yes. Ziegler telling Cronin to get back off the mark. Umpire Morrow telling him to hurry up. There's the kick by Ziegler. Cowie in front. Oh, nicely judged Reynoldson. Cowie got the front position. Reynoldson uh, let him go and judged it to a nicety. And Stephen, Stephen Reynoldson, very athletic player, has been very disappointing for Geelong. There's the kick. Is it swinging back in? It is. It's a goal. And that is uh, Reynoldson's first goal. In fact, it's his first score of the match. And Geelong keeping in touch. Amazing, you know, Clark, that Geelong's certainly bereft of forwards this afternoon. They've had seven goal kickers for their ten goals. The multiple goal kicker, of course, is uh, Gary Abbott and Michael Lenningham. But uh, they... They're short on a top full forward or a forward man at the moment. And Ablett, of course, with two goals, seven. Well, St Kilda get to ten points lead, then Geelong peg them back. It's, uh, they're now within three points of the Saints. Ball in the centre. Deal and Warwood clash. Greg Williams picks up a loose ball and just strides away from the pack and has the long shot for goal, but it'll be covered. Covered by Fashini. No, but slipping in was Frawley. Then he gets the handball to Cunningham. And have a dash downfield now from half back. He sends it into the centre. Warwood, but a clever mark to Boss. Read it well, got the flight at the right time. A nice mark. Boss goes to run on, tips one over the top to Tui, to Buse. Now Cabone to Burns and St Kilda turn defence into attack. Cronin telling Burns to run on. Burns has another bounce. He'll have another one, then he kicks as Tui comes at him and Burns has kicked the goal. And it's a ripper. And that is Greg Burns' first goal. And some good work then by Cronin, who was with him all the way, telling him how far he had to run. That was a good team effort. Been a quiet player. Hasn't been able to do much. But uh, can't do any more than that. That was a classy piece of play from the veteran Greg Burns. And only had half a dozen kicks. He struggled a bit today. Burns coming into play with uh, finishing off some good work from the back line. He's kicked another goal for St Gilbert. They're 12. They lead by nine points. Flanagan's beating, uh, in the, winning in the ruck at this stage. Lifted his game. The Saints, bit of a struggle at this moment. Tackle high. Wasn't allowed. Couch gets a handball back. It's Boz. Handball's not good. Zickler's in trouble. A good bounce and puts him in uh, a chance again. Here's Bennett for St Kilda. Yates. 
Wow. Pretty strong stuff going on down there, and it's uh, had all the things in footy. Uh, a real smorgasbord. A free kick. Going to uh, go to Zickler. Zickler's clearing kick, Williams. Morwood. Oh, Morwood using the body well. Has taken the mark. Morwood's 12th kick. There's Bennett. Kick. Oh, kill! Beautiful pass from Morwood to kill. Kill is on an angle. You can see it there. And would be around about the 25 to 30 metres out from goal. But that was a beautiful pass to kill by Morwood. And he's put it through. And the Saints fans have gone mad. And that is Keel's first goal. It's a very good uh, third quarter for the Saints. In 11 minutes, they've kicked three goals. Geelong have only managed one yet. Geelong outscored some killer in the second term, so it's going to be an interesting match. Either side could win. There's a lot, lot of football left. 84 some killer, 69 Geelong. 12 minutes into the third term, and Flanagan misread the bounce. It's Narkel. Good play, Williams, to find Neil. One of Geelong's best, and can he go? Oh, nice spin out of trouble. He'll need to kick it, but he can't get on balance. He's caught before he can get it off. Oh, all the dice. A bit uh, inexperienced. Mace is not. Some killer out of bother. Half forward line to Bennett. Through his fingers. Burns cleverly across the field. Cronin, a clever player. No one there leading to him, so he puts the long one down, hoping someone will get there. It'll bounce through. Saints uh, in a frenzy. Good stuff from Cronin because really there was no one there to kick it to. So he backed himself and launched it over the hedge of the pack and it bounced through. Four goals in this uh, quarter in 14 minutes for the Saints. They lead by 21 points. Ronan's first goal, 21 points lead to uh, St Kilda. They're playing like a team possessed at the moment, although Andrew Buse goes right into the pack for Geelong. He can see the game slipping away for the Cats. There's the bounce. Flanagan, side bottom. Flanagan gets hands to it. Buse doesn't know where to go. Out of the pack. Ablett. Uh, drop short for Reynolds and he tried to put it down to Williams. Williams was out of position. Cronin goes through the pack. There's got to be a bounce. Cowie over the top. Flanagan wide to Couch. Couch now for Geelong up into the half forward line. Running with the fly of the ball is Ablett. Coming through is Smith. And Smith pushes the ball over the boundary line for a throw in that left half forward flank for Geelong. Some children have lifted. There's no question about that. They can sense a victory here. Two in a row. Smith. Crowning from back. Can't take it this time. Couch. Got out of it well. His three teammates there. He gave it a quick one in Bruns. Oh, and indeed he was upset after he uh, delivered the ball. Frenchman there against John Bennett. The kick will go to Yates. And Yates. The long kick to half forward. Ablett. Oh! Had his name written all over that one, did uh, Gary uh, Ablett. But I'm afraid he hasn't had his kicking boots on today. It's his seventh mark and 16th kick. And what's been the result? Uh, two goals, seven. Takes you that long to uh, add up the behinds. <laughs> He's kicked two goals, seven. Now, Geelong are trailing by 21 points at the 16-minute mark of this third term. Now comes in with a drop punt kick. He can get the distance, but the accuracy has deserted him, and that's his eighth behind. Two goals, eight. Unbelievable, Jeff. Yeah, it is, and it rips the heart out of the team because obviously they rely so much on his great ability, but he cannot convert. And uh, this is the blemish uh, in his career. 
the Saints from the back pocket into the middle. Burns having a good third quarter. Feeds it quickly across uh, to Fashini. That's Cronin back to Jeff Abbott. I called him Fashini before, but he's moved down well. The full forward, McAdam, kick five. Desperate play there by uh, Yates for the Cats. Pushes the ball out of play and the Saints really on top, taking the game away now. They lead by 20 points at the 17-minute mark in this third term. Flanagan, McAdam does the ruck work. Flanagan gets it down to Bruns. Chance for Ablett. No, Cronin comes in and takes the fingertip mark. Whoops, Cronin was just about to go off. It didn't go over his mark. And Cronin will drive the ball right into the goal area. And if he can kick a goal, this and kill the fans will go mad. There's the kick from Cronin, floating short, dropping there. Flanagan there, fist the ball through for a behind. And the difference now, 22 points. No, it's not. It's uh, 21 points, sorry. 21 points in favour of uh, St Kilda as Malaki puts the ball back into play. Nice mark taken out there by, uh, is that Morgan? No, it's, I'm sorry, it's Tui. Up to centre player, uh, Greg Williams. That's a nice pass to Ablett. What a lovely catch. Cunningham playing him from behind, hoping to punch, but Ablett's out marking Cunningham, but... Let's take nothing away from Cunningham, he's doing a great job. A drop short, landed right in the arms there of, uh, of Morgan. Darren Morgan with a catch, 21 points down. 90 minutes through this third term. It's a killer right on top in this third quarter. Uh, all the confidence is drained right out of the Geelong players. They just cannot convert. Hodges getting plenty of leads. One from Fashini, but I think he should ignore that. He chips it in short. Oh, looking for uh, Ablett. Good work then by Lennigan. Chance there for Buse. Tackled by Hodges. Neil comes in, can kick a goal from an angle. And he's missed. Well, you missed. can't say they haven't had their chances, Clark, can you? Certainly cannot. All right, Rogers again. Kicks it to side bottom. Goes over towards Mace and uh, Neil. Side bottom will pick it up now. Very accomplished player. One of the best on the field. Certainly the best big man. Worked rucked uh, superbly this afternoon. Wonderful judgment for centre bounces. And it's taken about eight or nine marks. Side bottom again against Flanagan. Flanagan gets the tap down. Reynoldson overruns the ball. Narkel, sure hands. Morwood, who's been a, a good player for St Kilda. Looking there for Cabone. He can't get it. This will be uh, Tui. Tui's clearing. Kick Ablett's there by himself and will mark. Oh, look to see where everybody was. Cunningham roughs him up a little bit, but I'm sure Ablett can take care of himself. The 15 metres penalty. Umpire Morrow telling Cunningham to go back. Now, this puts Ablett within kicking distance. Now, he can't kick goals. He's kicked two goals. Well, when I say can't kick goals, he's kicked two. But by G, he's kicked eight behinds and two out of bounds on the full. So here comes Ablett now. Tries terribly hard. Is it going to swing back? I think it may have, has it? Yes, it has. Well, he put plenty of effort into that. Three goals, eight for uh, Gary Ablett. And once again, Geelong back in the game because the Saints are leading by 14 points. That's right. I think the, uh, the, 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 the motto here, or the moral here, is to get the ball and keep getting the ball to Gary Ablett and just hope that he can uh, get his goal-kicking boot uh, on again as he kicked it there. That was a better effort from him. Well, the hope of the Geelong team, Gary Ablett, who's been shockingly inaccurate today with... Uh, Two goals, eight to Lynn has just kicked his third goal. So the Cats are full of steam again. Bit of a shove there. He just given a push by uh, St Kilda Smith against Abbott. Now Abbott's given licence to roam. He can go anywhere he likes and that's exactly what he's doing. He's all over the field. Up near the goal square. Melodies. Morgan again. He's got it. Two goals, I'm uh, sorry, in, in a couple of minutes. One goal to Morgan. Certainly there's a bit of bite left in the Cats.
two goals, one to, uh, to Darren Morgan. Only seven points the difference now after St Kilda led by 21 points. Beautiful fist by Flanagan to Reynolds and the way go. The Cats again. Frawley comes out to meet the ball. Oh, nice mark by Couch. Use the body well. Seven points the difference. 23 minutes gone in the third quarter. Couch, a very nervous player, shoots for goal, and I think he may have missed it. Yes, he has. So the difference now, six points as a result of that uh, point by Paul Couch. And we're just waiting for the football to come back. In fact, those two players in your screen then, Fashini and Couch, haven't had much influence on the game. 3-5 to 4-1 at this quarter. Geelong are scoring inaccurately. The Saints had a good start with it. Catch it right back in it. Terry Smith's been a good def uh, defender and uh, round the ground player on this batch. Down side bottom finds Cronin. Cronin on the half forward line now. Checks he's running it. He's a left footer. Puts a long one up to Alfredston. Oh, and Malaki back in that position now with a bit more uh, confidence. Takes uh, a nice mark. Puts it out towards centreman Greg Williams. Against Narkel there for running. No, it wasn't. Ball play on. Geelong into the middle, and in the middle there is uh, Cowie. Cowie steady to the centre of the ground, Keel, side bottom, plenty of room to move, Mace tells him to run on, but he elects to have a shot for goal, and it's going to go through. No offline. Oh, only a behind. Bad luck, Alan side bottom, you've played like a champion. So the difference now is back to seven points, approaching three-quarter time. Malaki looking for the big fellow Flanagan, but side bottom has the best marker on the grounds there. Darkle tackle from uh, the side by Bruns. Bruns wins the free, and he went to 15 metres against that because Narkle uh, hung onto his leg. Time for the Cats to get the front. Uh, there's 24 minutes gone on this quarter. The ball's shooting up towards the uh, flank position. It's Michael Lennigan. A beautiful pass to Reynoldson. Haven't gained much from that. Reynoldson's really down in confidence. Not playing at all well this season. To Buse. Oh, clever! Been a useful small man as Andrew Buse for Geelong today. Co combined with a fella standing alongside him uh, in Scratch and Neal. He's been a battler. Buse kick. It just made it for a behind. And uh, it's been a, a pitiful show of inaccurate kicking. Geelong in this third quarter. Well, that makes it uh, the difference one goal. Hodges, who's done most of the kicking in, Morwood, Williams nicely judges it. Wait for Greg Williams to go back. 25 minutes gone in this third term. There's the lead from Reynoldson. Cowie too slow, and the mark has been paid. And the St Kilda fans strangely quiet because a goal here would make the scores dead level. And Stephen Reynoldson has been uh, outpointed by uh, the St Kilda centre half back in Cowie, but uh, on that occasion he was too quick. Now let's see what Stephen Reynoldson can do. He comes in now, stabs at the ball, shoots for goal, and he's uh, missed it. Another behind, and that's shocking kicking, as you said before, Jeff. 12 15. They've kicked three goals, eight in this third quarter, and St Kilda have kicked uh, four goals, too. That's the difference. Again, I just plops that one out towards uh, Fashini. Side bottom giving him the high side uh, on the uh, wing. It's heading towards side bottom. Over his head. The back was Bruns. Kicks it back towards uh, Lennigan. Lennigan on the half forward flank. Hughes gets away and he's only getting in the pocket. He can run in, but he goes for the long kick. Oh, one get to Ablett. Man in the middle's taken it. Frawley. Danny Frawley Ablett doesn't want him to get away. No 15 metre penalty against Ablett then for standing on his foot. Clearing kick, Morwood against Flanagan. The odds had to favour Flanagan. He's too tall and strong. And uh, Geelong desperate for a goal. A goal would put them in front. Couch, Ablett. 
Oh, there was a little bit. I don't know if that was on purpose, but a little bit of the decoy stuff then. Couch was in front, propped, copped. Fashini was behind. He couldn't do much about it. Ablett was in front of Cunningham. And that was a good kick then by Flanagan. Oh, gee, it was. Now, let's see what Gary Ablett can do. He's kicked three goals, eight. Is it four goals, eight? Looks pretty good. It is. And this fellow can turn a game because he's now put the Cats in front by one point at the 27-minute mark of this third quarter after St Kilda led at one stage by 21 points. That was his 20th kick. He's taken 10 marks. And he has a good man uh, on him today in uh, Geoffrey Cunningham, uh, who hasn't done too many things wrong, but it just shows you how brilliant Gary Abbott is. Good centre bounce. Flanagan versus side bottom. Side bottom wins. Finds uh, Mace. Cuts his way through the pack. Tries to barrel it out. The first can't. McAdam rips in. Goes down like a rugby player. Gets it out to the winger running through. It's forward very quick. Kicks it in the back of Yates and the ball ricochets over the line. Back into Kilda's forward zone. Trying to do too little, uh, too, too much, I think, they're uh, St Kilda players. They're trying to play the field instead of whipping out the quick hand pass. Flanagan and uh, side bottom, side bottom gets the tap down, burns the chance. Tui goes over the top and uh, it'll be a throw in because the ball was already out of bounds when Tui went crudely over the top of Burns. Flanagan and side bottom, Flanagan too tall. McAdam trying desperately. It's Flanagan getting it out. Narkel breaks clear. Has a shot for goal. I think he's put it through. What a magnificent goal. That was about a 55 metres goal by uh, Narkel. Phil Narkel. That's his first goal. And a timely one right on three-quarter time. And that now puts the Saints back in front by five points. Geelong uh, took the lead at the 27 minute mark just by a point in this third term but Phil Nagel with an excellent goal has put the Saints back in front Jenny wants game almost out of time in this third term as Flanagan tries to take it out of the centre side bottom tucks it back picked up by the man who kicked that last goal Nagel the half forward line good pick up Williams for Geelong Greg Williams is always running out of that outer side this must be the attacking wing and across to Lennigan combining it well once again Floats it down towards uh, Reynoldson, not having a good day, although he's taken two marks in this third quarter, but not playing it well enough. And the ball taken out of his hands for a throw in Geelong's forward flank. Well, can the Saints keep Geelong out and go into uh, three quarter time with a five points lead? That's what they led by by half time. Svashini out of defence, Flanagan misses the mark. Side bottom. Coming through is uh, Tui, kicks wide. Chance there for Ablett, traps it well, Frawley shepherding, shepherding well, Frawley nice shepherding, Ablett still with it, Gilda fans love that, the mark has been taken by Hocking, grabbed by Keel, Williams, Williams in short looking for Lenigan. he took his eyes off the foot, in fact I think the sun got in his eyes, McAdam chases uh, Neil, Neil a high kick up towards uh, the full forward area, the mark has been taken in defence by Hodges. Quickly out of defence to Faschini. Faschini moves out of defence. He's got support from Cunningham. Morwood, beautiful play by the two former Swans players. Morwood now on the outer side wing to half forward. Bennett, Yates, nice mark then uh, by Malaki. Put his shoulder into the turf and roll with the ball. Uh, had a shocking first quarter against Elford Stone, but back in that position now. Whoops. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh. The fumble was there. Number 44 has played well for Geelong. Tip. Quarter time. Three quarter time, rather. St Kilda with a nose in front. 15 8, 98. Geelong 13 15, 93. The last quarter at Moravan. The Saints lead by five points. The same margin they had at half time. Even third quarter, Geelong picked up a bit. A 
with a free kick in the centre. It's going to uh, Flanagan. Oh, the kick was a bad one. Roberts is on for the first time for the Saints. Robertson immediately kicks the Roberts, I should say, kicks wide to Cronin, who took his eyes off the football. He had his back to the umpire, and the umpire said he marked it. It slipped right through. That's the luck of the game. The kick towards half forward. McAdam couldn't mark. Neil comes through. Nice use of the body by Morwood. Neil comes back again, though. Gives it to Narkel. Narkel through the pack. How did he do that? Round he goes again. Steers the ball towards Elphinstone, but chipping in nicely as Yates. Hand pass to Tui. Shane Williams. Now he can run. There's not a St Kilda player within 20 metres. And Shane Williams, away he goes. Has the kick to half forward, looking for Reynolds. And oh, nice play by Hodges. He's been a handy back man. Whoops, here's Jeff Cunningham. And fumbles it, flip it out in front of him again. Onto Keel, out the side bottom. Side bottom in the middle now. Has a quick look. Best big man of field. Ruck works superb. So Elphinstone has been quiet since the first two quarters. Geelong with a chance now. They've got to defend thoroughly. Robert Neal, uh, by G's been a great player. He's gone and he's crashed through the packs. This is good football from Neal. Real leadership stuff this. Up to the half forward line. St Gilda knock it away. Out of play, centre wing. The Saints in front by five points. And the difference, uh, as you said, Jeff, five points as we wait for the ball to be thrown in. Side bottom and Reynoldson, side bottom, all through Keel. Roberts high. We'll get the free kick. Play on, says the umpire. Obviously thought Roberts ducked his head. And the mark has been taken by Bennett at the second attempt. Narkel is there. Oh, telegraph that one. Narkel's got it, Lennigan comes at him, pops one around the neck. And I think if Lennigan had have tackled Narkel uh, a little lower, Narkel would have been uh, freed for uh, hanging onto the ball too long. Yeah, that's right. Hasn't done a great deal. Not a bad pass to Bennett. Had it, dropped it, caught it again. It's Bennett uh, being in front, of course. John Bennett. Kick one goal in the first quarter. And that one's out on the full. Oh, well, I can't see. It's a, it's a behind. Yeah. So the difference now, six points, just one goal. Gary Malaki, the big kick. Oh, he's a beautiful kick of the football. Ablett is there. Nelly marked on his chest. Keel steals the ball, runs to half forward. Malaki. He read that beautifully. That's what they call in the nick of time. Out to scratch a kneel. Knocked away by Mace. Picked up by Jeff Ablett. Back to uh, Mace. Mace pops it quickly out of full four to Elphinstone. And Malarkey again on the grass. I wonder if they'll allow that mark. No, it'll be a ball up. I think we're in for a torrid last quarter. Different six points favouring St Kilda in St Kilda's forward line. Flanagan, Bruns, Mace the chance for the mark or he'll get the free kick because it was out of bounds. No, it must have bounced. So it was a good kick there by Bruns to uh, just land inside the line. Side bottom and Flanagan. Side bottom gets it down. Bruns tries to grab it. Tackled by McAdam. Williams goes through for Geelong, that's Shane Williams. McAdam is still there. This fellow's a fighter, is McAdam. Five goals and he bores in. Never stops trying. And there's another fellow that doesn't stop trying either. That's uh, scratching the old areas, hands on the hips. I look pretty tired as we uh, are in the early parts of this last quarter. McAdam in that again. Flanagan too slow. A lot of pushing and shoving. Eventually, Mace kicks out of the pack. Off hands. Tui loses the run of the ball. He's tough, though. Flanagan. Tackled by Bennett. And the free kick going to Bennett for a good, solid tackle. And Bennett doesn't look too healthy either. Neither does Flanagan, for that matter. He's a pretty big boy, Clark, isn't he, Bennett? Uh, you have a look at his thighs. Uh, he's not a quick player, but uh, he's a very strong... Strong player. 
he sort of flashed into the play and uh, you wouldn't want to kick it to him to give him a long run at the football. Uh, his pace had uh, have you worrying, but a long left footer. It's a lovely kick, but it's gone into the forward pocket. Big Burns was up, it's touched, comes back over the pack, and it's out. A crucial period of the game for St Kilda. They've got to capitalise on this forward move. Elphinstone, Flanagan over the top, kicked out of the pack by Cabone. That'll be useful because it gives them a little breathing space. Goal would have been better, but uh, Frank Cabone are behind, and the lead is now seven points at the five-minute mark of the last quarter. And Malaki's kicking the ball to a lead there from Gary Abbott, of course. A little shove there, I thought it was, to uh, from Greg Williams to Morwood. He, he marked from the back of the pack, Williams. And he and Morwood have had a pretty good duel, although I'd I give the, uh, the honours to uh, Morwood today because he's been a more attacking player, had more possessions. Good kick by Williams. Gary Ablett again! Getting excited, but uh, top mark there from Frawley. He the man with a better judgment. 15 metres penalty. Uh, against the Cats. Now they kick the ball from half back. 15 metres penalty. So this will uh, relieve uh, for the uh, Saints. In fact, it will turn defence into attack. Danny Frawley, a young uh, full-back, or oh, the kick not a good one. Keel misses the mark. Thought he's going to fall over then, gets rid of it. Shane Williams ran through the pack. Keel comes back. <laughs> Hand pass comes to Bruns. Long kick by Bruns. Sensible football. Ablett up high. Frawley again, clearing kick wide for Mace, but the ball bounces over the line for a throw-in on the half-forward flank, outer side here at Moorabbin, with the Cats leading, I should say the Cats trailing by seven points. And seven points into the final turn. Reynoldson, a disappointing play today, takes on Cowie. Bruns has been an in out of the game, handballs backwards. Hawkins on kick to full forward, Ablett again! Got a little bit of a limp there. Can't help but wonder that when Gary takes off uh, on a launching pad, he could fall anyhow. Now, Cunningham's played well against him. Had it not been for Cunningham's close attendance, uh, Abbott could have been a more damaging player, but he's kicked four goals, eight. Four, eight. He's got it together now. His last three shots for goal have been goals, but up until that time, I think Gary Abbott himself was worrying, well, where is this one going to go? One yes, point. The trainers out there having a look at Ablett. Four goals eight, as you said, Jeff. He's limping. He's a key player with Jackson out. Um, we haven't seen anything of Linda today. I think he was taken off early in the game. He went off, actually. We thought he had a cramp, so obviously he had more wrong with him. One point, the difference. Ablett's fourth goal. Williams, Morwood, Cronin, gets it down towards Ablett. Boss's kick out to Bruns, to Neil. That was good anticipation by Neil. Kick up forward, Couch, and also Faschini. Oh, I think Faschini would have been wise to let that ball go over the boundary line, and he does. There'll be a throw in left forward pocket for Geelong. Saints leading by one point. And plenty of time for a decision either way because uh, there's approximately 20 minutes to go. Cowie, the ruckman. Couch, backwards. A shot for goal by Bruns. Just missed. Is it not? Sorry. Out on the full. And Hodges with the ball, one of uh, St Kilda's best players. Kicks it in, side bottom, gets it down. Players just falling over. In fact, uh, that was Frawley who kicked the ball in. I just was there to uh, try and mark. There'll be a bounce. It's going to be a tough, relentless last quarter. Both uh, sides are pretty tired. Flanagan and side bottom. All oh, side bottom goes up, grabs the ball, got nothing to do with it. Flanagan picks up, kicks short for Shinny Nelly the mark. Couch spoils. Bruns uh, kicks off the ground over the uh, boundary line and there'll be a free kick. No, it wasn't Bruns. Bruns will get the free kick. It came off the boot of a St Kilda player and Bruns 
is on the left half forward flank. The lead is coming from Buse. So too is uh, Elderdees. The Bruns is going to drive the ball high. Look at the kick. It's a magnificent kick. But the uh, direction not there. Through from behind and scores are dead level at the 10 minute mark of the last quarter. In for a bit of fun on this final term as I just booted back out towards side bottom. Scratch and Neil uh, got up well. Bruns to Flanagan. The big fellow loops a long handball over to the man on the flank. It's Couch, but he shepherded for by Neil. Couch's kick. Ablett, can he get there? No, Frawley knocked it out of his grasp. Good play, Frawley. But the Cats are in front by one point. Hodges. Nelly no, didn't come off. Nobody there to put the pressure on, of course. Hodges clearing kick. Burns. Neil. Kick not good. Hodges through his legs. Costly mistake. Reynoldson. Shoots for goal. Offline and through for a behind. Difference now, two points. It's amazing, and the Cats are struggling away there, and they're in front, and they've got a couple of players who are well down in form. All the dice, a, a, a new player, and Stephen Reynolds very much out of touch. Cunningham, down to Moorworth, taps it out, looking for a quicker player. All the dice now, not quite sure to do. Oh, he's put a player in trouble, it's Morgan. The Saints live again on the back line. More a good player. Michael Roberts, a fresh man in this quarter, coming around the members' flank. Puts a long one up towards the uh, half-forward flank. Cronin! Cronin gets it eventually. Strides away. No one leading. Gets a loose man. It's Burns. Burns and Tui. Burns tries to shake off Tui. Loses possession. Geelong pick it up through Malaki. Malaki kicks it to a lead out there from Couch. Couch and Fashini is out. Marked him. Fashini's long kick now. Elferson by himself. Long players couldn't get back in time. He hasn't kicked the goal since the second quarter. He lays into it now. Bennett was the target. He was stopped from marking. The ball pushed through or behind to St Kilda. And Geelong hanging on by one point. Phew, what a finish this is going to be, Clark. Malaki, particular with his kicks, decides to go down the middle. Narkel. Narkel immediately plays on. Elphinstone, oh, couldn't pull it in. There's nobody in support. Cabone is there. Oh, he was leg should get the free kick. He wasn't in no possession, and he will. That was desperation then by the Geelong defence. In fact, this last quarter is just one of desperation. And Frank Cabone, who hasn't done a great deal for St Kilda today, he's been uh, on and off the field. He's had uh, seven kicks. He's spent a lot of that time, though, uh, on the bench, the interchange bench. It's a difficult angle. Elphinstone with the lead. Cabone comes in. He's a right footer. Steers the ball towards goal. And he's put it through, and the Saints are back in front. Frank Cabone has kicked one goal, one. And that uh, goal, of course, as you just saw in this vital last quarter to put the Saints back in front. Oh, the seven and goal. the crowd, look at them. Yeah. There's the man of the moment, Frank Cabone. He's kicked, this is his first year player. He's kicked six goals this season. None more important than that one. And side bottom gets the mark. Mark was lifted in this final turn. To Bennett and Yates. Burns chases after him, together with Elphinstone. Dockers and Shepherds allow Burns, he's a good 50 metres out, pulled off the shot. Frank Cavone gets it, swerves, didn't know what to do then, bit of pressure. Cavone again, Bora Plum, this is alright, it's Buse, clever play Buse as he weaves his way down the field, not a good uh, piece of delivery there. Or oh, clever mark there to Hodges. Across to Roberts, they swing it from one side to the other, Roberts about in the middle. Gets it to centre half forward. Ball knocked in, the man running through his pattern. He swerves, it's deflected, gives Geelong a chance. There's four of them there. Good handball here to cross to uh, Morgan. Morgan at the landing and he dropped it, but plenty of time to recover. A short one to Neil. Neil, a star for Geelong. Can give it to Morgan. Roberts is there. 
Neil has a shot for goal. They're pushing and shoving Ablett there again. Good play by Cunningham to fist the ball away from Ablett. And through four are behind. And Scratch O'Neill has played his heart out yeah, for the Cats. Doesn't know how to play a bad game, but Scratch O'Neill, a veteran in the Geelong lineup, and boy, he's just shown on the way. Got the ball, charged through the packs, got it out in front, out to uh, side bottom. Couldn't hang on to it. Hocking, Hocking, can he do it? No, oh, doesn't know, quite know what to do with it. Across the shoulder, he'll get another shot, and fair enough, I guess we could see that, but the umpires are tended to really let play go this afternoon, uh, not a giving the advantage at all, or should I say giving the advantage at most times. So, Hocking, the position is St Kilda will lead by four points, 15 and a bit minutes, final turn, Hocking from about 35 metres out. Hasn't scored anything today. Still hasn't scored a thing. Wasteful football, Hocking. St Kilda get the free kick. I was going to say he's a back man, uh, Jeff. <laughs> that's the way he kicks it too, I think. <laughs> Cunningham the kick, runs, side bottom. Now don't do anything silly there, St Kilda. Mace came in there to push uh, Neil away. They could lose the footy if they're not careful, and the Saints can't afford to do that. Side bottom's 10th mark. A 15 metres penalty relieves the pressure for the Saints. Bennett, Cabone, hocking into trouble. And the St Kilda fans yelling for a free kick. We're getting plenty of sound effects uh, here from the St Kilda side. Nicely flanning it. Runs to Neil. Good football. Ablett's there. Cunningham right with him. Oh! Gary Ablett, you star! Ran forward, ran sideways, ran backwards, had the hole. Jeff Cunningham out and tucked the ball under his armpit with the other. Well, he certainly can play footy. And I just don't know where Geelong would be without him this year. Considering the fact that uh, Geelong are having a, a shocking year and only won two games. Gary Abbott has kicked five goals, eight. But his last three shots have been goals. This might be another one. It is! And Geelong snatch the lead once more in this final quarter with about ten minutes of play to go. Almost seems a, sh a shame that uh, St Kilda should lose this one if it's lost. I mean, there's plenty of football left. There's about another 11 minutes of footy left. But then again, it's credit to Geelong the way they've just fought back with sheer tenacity. Geelong by two points. Flanagan gets the tap. Roberts can't trap the ball. Lennigan tries to get it out to Williams. He was grabbed there by Morwood, and uh, umpire Mitchell comes in and says, I will bounce. Can the Saints come back? Side bottom is there, grabs the ball, gets slung to the ground. Morgan, the hand pass out. Fashini, out of defence high, Cronin is the target. He's out bustled. Nice mark then by uh, Shane Williams. To the halfback. Can the St Kilda get back? Only two points now. Oh, Cunningham backwards straight. Oh, sensational mark. Then backwards to Roberts. Then out to Morwood. Morwood's been a splendid player for them in the centre. Great handball. Oh, it's not. It went through two of the players. It squeezed past. Williams. Oh, Morwood. The man took a tackle from behind. Morgan keeps the catch in it. Desperate tackle there by Jeff Cunningham uh, on Lennigan. The ball out of play. Another throw in. Saints half forward line. Side bottom. Push in the back and side bottom will get the free kick 
immediately plays on. Kicks towards the centre. I just running down with a kick, not a good one. Marked there by Views. Views can kick out wide. Looking there for Ziegler. Ziegler can't mark. He's played most of his football in the back line. Now he's up forward. Frawley was there with him. And there'll be a bounce between the uh, centre of the ground. In fact, no, it's right up on the half-forward line for the Cats. And they lead by two points. Final term. Eight minutes to go, I guess. Hughes kicks the ball high. There's a wrestle on. Frawley, he's letting it. Came off someone's shin. Doesn't matter who it was anyway, because it's gone through for a behind. Three points lead to Geelong after St Kilda's led throughout the match virtually. Desperate football. The skills have gone. It's a two tired sides. Manning on now for St Kilda takes the mark. Immediately goes back. Kicks long. Williams is there. Side bottom. Nice mark under pressure. Hand pass in field. To Hodges. Morwood. Hocking grabs him. Neil takes off. Scintillating stuff. Scratch a Neil now. Up to the half forward line. Gets around the player. Then put down by Mace. But it was in the back. I thought, no, the umpire has seen it the other way. Could have been the player of the day. And a disappointed Robert Neil. He did everything he could. But uh, let's take nothing away from Robert Mace. Uh, a tough, fierce player. Wrenched him like a bear. So St Kilda live again, Mace from the back line to Morwood, knocked away from Morwood. St Kilda need to pull something out of the bag now, player held, not in possession. St Kilda play it to McGannon, hasn't he got out of the game? Kick five goals up until half time and then Springwelly and truly covered. Bolton I think has been the man chasing him, made a big difference. Cronin's come into it in this last quarter, he's a clever player. Tried too hard, lost possession, Bust got him. Running through his bolt now, across the middle. He's exceeding the speed limit. Kicks the ball. Comes to Cowie. Bop on the rebound. Throws it out. Lennigan throws it out. Roberts tackles him. Good football. Not flashy, but all the fighting qualities are there between both sides. It's a good game. It's a crackerjack game, uh, Jeffrey. And still Geelong hang on to that three points lead. Reynoldson hanging on, and the free kick is going to Cowie. Got to get it moving. Cunningham running past. Cowie fakes. Now he gets it to Cunningham. Reynoldson comes at him. Cunningham gets the short kick away. Shane Williams misses it. Can St Kilda capitalise side bottom. Burns. Elphingston not in front of Malarkey though. Malarkey. Sure. Cool. Gets the hand pass away to Elphingston though. Not so cool. Burns. Tackled by Greg Williams. Knuckle the chance. Grab through the ball away. Burns. Desperate. and Kilda, and they're trailing by three points. Yep. Side bottom and Flanagan, good play by Flanagan. Hocking, Morwood comes through. Williams is there. Cronin and Williams dispute the football, and the umpire Morrow says I'll bounce. Oh. The umpires have had uh, the hands full. They've been uh, besieged by players around them all day. Side bottom beats uh, Flanagan. Mace can't get it out. Then he does. The wrong player. Williams a good player from Geelong. That's Shane Williams. Back to Flanagan on to Williams once more. Dribbles it up to the wing. Side bottom. Cool. Cool. He's out on his feet. Had a marvellous match. Taking 11 marks. Uh, side bottom. Flanagan inside bottom. Manning. Knuckle. Edward, who can kick a country kilometre, has a shot for goal. And he's off line through from behind. Well, Difference, like, two points. Well, the Saints a big chance to score because the ball has to be kicked out by Malaki. They can take uh, control of it or it's a long kick for Malaki. It's hitting the centre. Cowie. Reynoldson. Hughes. Geelong into attack now. It's on their half forward line. This is Roberts and Lenigan. Roberts is fresher than Lenigan. He came on on this last turn. Ward, a top player. Loses it though this time. Here's Cats for Geelong. I think if there's a fault with Morwood's game, he tends to hang on a little, 
uh, too long, but as he says, uh, I tackled him on that one day after our footy show, and he said, well, you've got to make sure you've got teammates around you before you get rid of it. So there, maybe that's the difference in uh, a top side in St Kilda. He's got nobody in support. Fair enough. Well said, Clark. Half forward line for Geelong. Flanagan and Cowie. Geelong have the running. Andrew Buse, been a good player. Clever Rover. Slice into full foot. Cunningham. Gary Ablett on one leg now after he went for that last mark and kicked his last goal. His opponent, Cunningham, has played quite well. I don't care who they put on, uh, on Ablett. Uh, you find it hard to contain him. Cunningham is a champion. That one went out on the full, so couch for Geelong gets the free. Lead from Zickler, but Frawley with him. Couch. Kick to half forward. Reynoldson couldn't bring it down. Hodges, Morwood is there, Williams, clever hand pass to Bruns, play on says the umpire, it's a rainmaker, Shane Williams tries to get it, hand pass from Reynoldson out to uh, Neil, Neil chips it in short, looking for views, he waits for it, can he get around Hodges, the kick is there, Fashini out of defence, that's Yates, hand pass over the top, this is all Geelong, Lennigan, brought down, Morgan, snapshot for goal, offline and through for a behind. Of course, all this means, Clark, is we've just entered the extra time period that whoever kicks a goal, I think will win, unless it's going to be a long quarter, and I can't see that because it's been a low-scoring quarter. So the ball back into play. Side bottom, his 12th mark. Played superbly. Down to the wing, man in front. Greg Burns tries to barrel out the back. Cronin caught with it, but caught off balance. The prize decision was a good one then. Holds him off, balls it up. 27 minutes gone, final turn. The Cats lead by three points. There's the bounce. One last effort from St Kilda. Flanagan's in the way, though. Boss fumbles, recovers. He's under no pressure. Side bottom, lovely mark. Allen's side bottom. Can give it a Roberts. Time is running out. Roberts the long kick. Bennett. Yates. Burns. Cronin. The fist of Boss. And Boss punched that ball out. That's what he's trying to do and uh, collected Cronin on the way. Forget the pain. Yeah, train indicating Cronin's okay. Way on, that's right. Planning on this time. Down to the rover. Morgan it is. Ball it comes through. It's Lawson St Kilda's forward line, but only just. If they can kick a goal here, I think they can wrestle the game away from Geelong after leading for most of the match. Ball up between centre and half forward. Side bottom, straight on to Flanagan. Bobbles it. Gets a handball. Shane Williams. Oh, he's still running. Must be on rubber legs, but he's put in a good one to Reynoldson. Carry with him. Roberts for St Kilda. Caught. Still gets a handball. The ball went. They're running St Kilda. They might take it off here. Cunningham to Mace. Oh, it's too wide for Ablett. Bennett fumbles badly. Lost control. The Saints lost their chance now. Cunningham comes back into it. Markle. Cabo. Touch it a half forward. Oh, anyone can win it. A smart mover, perhaps. Machini tries. He can't. Bolt for Geelong. Desperate. Desperate. Football. Congratulations, the Saints and the Cats. Ball up, 20 minutes out from St Kilda's goal, and they're behind by three. There's the siren. And it's Geelong by three points. Final score, Geelong 15-21, 111 to St Kilda, 16-12, 108.